Now then, how do? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing of this little device, the new Beeline Moto 2. I'll tell you a little bit about it and show you what you get in the box and just exactly how easy it is to fit to your bike. Let's roll the start and I'll see you in a second. Right, so first things first, I ought to point out that this is actually a device that was given to me. I've been part of the team who's been doing the testing of the new device, trying to uh, make it as good as it possibly can be. And uh, because of that, Beeline have kindly given me, one, given me a device, which is really brilliant. I'm really, really pleased because it's an excellent thing. So first of all, what do you get in the box? As it says on the back, one black Moto2 device, a universal handlebar mount, a USB-C charge cable, and a quick start guide. Sounds fair enough. What does that all look like? I have to say, looking at the packaging, I think the packaging is really, really nice, neat as well. So, there we are, a Beeline device. It's a piece of card. Here it says universal mount, silicon bands underneath. So that's just held in there. If you're familiar with the Beeline Moto device, you already know what that is and how it works. Instruction book. And then we have a USB-C charging cable and two sets of silicon bands. So what do you do with the silicon bands? Well, if you notice, very, if you look very carefully on the device, two of these are just open and two have a little notch in them so that when you put the silicon band in, doesn't fall out. There you go. That is now ready to fit to any handlebar. And once that's fitted to a handlebar, the device just turns and clicks in. It's as simple as that. So, having got the device out of its box, what can we do with it? Well, first of all, it'll need turning on, and it's possibly difficult to see, but there's two little notches up there where they have LEDs hidden and then you press and click by rocking the top of it. And that just presses down. It's actually easier when it's on the handlebars. Hold it for a bit and there it is. It turns itself on. And from there you've got a number of different screens you can scroll through. It tells me that the battery is at 41%. You can increase or decrease the brightness and then you've got a number of options so and literally you're just rocking it backwards and forwards to get to that now I'll just set up a route on my phone so as you will know you you'll need the Beeline app to make this work and we'll plan a ride and we'll say we want to go from where I am now and we will go to the local farm shop. Now on there it will give you a choice of fast or fun. So let's have some fun. Fun routes are slightly further but supposed to be more interesting, maybe more challenging. And when you set your route up you press go and it appears on the beeline. So now your device is going to tell you that in 0.1 of a mile you're going to turn that way. And again, you have a series of different screens that will tell you all sorts of things. ETA, what time you're going to get there, how long it's going to take, how far it is, your speed and your average speed, 
how long you've been going for and how far you've been and what time it is. Whoops! And that gives you the charge on the device and the charge on your phone. And there we are, back to ride menu and back to that one. It's as simple as that. As you ride further on, a little sketch map appears of where you're going. And I think there is a picture on there of what that looks like, giving you an idea of what you're going to have to do next. And it really is very simple, very intuitive, and it takes literally seconds to set up. When you're finished with it all, you can go through to the ride menu, end ride, yes, and it does that for you. Tick yes, and you're back to the start. And when you're finished with the device, totally, you turn it off. And I'll turn my mobile off as well. Great thing with the Beeline device compared with some others is that the, when you're running, the, the drag on your phone, the amount of charge you're using on your phone is minimal. Some devices, you run your phone, it's got the screen on all the time, and it just sucks the life out of your battery. Not the Beeline device, because the screen's blank and it's all done on there. I suppose the next thing I should show you is how to fit it to the bike. So come on then, we'll go to the Shed of Dreams. So here we are in the Shed of Dreams with my trusty Royal Enfield. I've brought the universal mount and I've brought the device, and to fit it, it's as simple as this. Just tuck that band underneath the handlebar, clip it on there. That one underneath that side, clip it on there. That's the mount securely on the handlebars. And then taking the device with the uh, LEDs at the top, it just goes on there, turns, and that's it, fitted not going to fall off, not going to go anywhere, doesn't look unattractive to my eyes and uh, when you when you stop somewhere just comes off, drops into your pocket and that just leaves that little mount which is virtually invisible and if you do want to take the mount off it's literally unhook two silicon bands and it's done. As simple as that. So there you are, unboxing the Beeline Moto 2 device. I hope you enjoyed that I think it's a really good device. If you want to know more about its day-to-day -day operation and things like that, I'll put a link down to the Beeline website where they've got some great little videos and uh, hopefully you'll find out everything you need to know from there. If you have got any questions you think I can answer, just put them down below and if I can't answer them, I'm sure I can find a man who can. Other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you did, give a like Let's consider subscribing and hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be doing something different. Probably not another unboxing for a while. Bye for now.